Hey guys, this is On Production CK and I'm the 4673 and I'm back in Yojin Brother Bodyguards part 20. Um, I need to be a bit quiet in this one because people think I've gone to sleep, but I have not. So yeah, what should I do? I wanted to go back, but at the same time, I didn't want to go back. What was I supposed to do? I didn't want to say goodbye to Sabaki. And what would Sabaki think? I thought he'd started to like me, if only just a little. Or maybe he'd only been doing his job. He was really a wonderful person. He had a strange side, but... No, it's not a strange side. He's just more clever than you. He's just smarter than you, Sayori. <laughs> Where did I go from here? You've done us a great service in serving, saving the princess. In another room of the castle, the chief retainer, Yahei Hanava, was speaking loudly and excitedly to Tai Naoji. Trays of food were lined up in front of them. It was really an incredible feat. I have no idea how I can thank you. I don't need any thanks. I was merely doing what you asked me to. No need to be so modest. Thanks to you, the princess was safe. The whole happy day. Please, have a cup of sake, sake. Sake. <laughs> Grinning, Yehei poured sake into Tainoja's cup. Oh, it's starting to spill. Sahari Zari. Sake is truly something special in a time of celebration. Let us drink until the sun comes up. I trust you will join me, Sir Hanover. Of course, of course. Hurry up and bring us more sake. Yes. I left the bath feeling refreshed and much better. Somehow I even managed to get my complicated kimono on by myself. Cool. So I'm guessing from now that we go to uh, uh we go over to Tobaki and Hanover and I confess my love or something and say, then say who I really am and say that I don't want to go back or something. Yeah, things are gonna be a lot more calm. No more fights. That makes me happy. Um. There was things that were worrying me, yes, but I couldn't solve them all by myself. Should I at least let him know how I felt? Ew, I was turning in- was I turning into some sort of man-hungry hussy? Could I just tell him how I felt so easily? Did I have the courage to do something like that? Of course I didn't, I've never even been able to give the boys I like chocolate on Valentine's Day. Besides, even if I did manage to get my feelings across, even if Tsubagi felt the same way, could I have a successful relationship with somebody from this era? I'd have to go back to my own world at some point, and when I did, we would wind up the, in the ultimate, dist ultimate distance relationship, <laughs> separated not by space, but by time, a chronicle distance. Uh, relationship. It sounded sort of romantic, but it would be hard too. We could never see each other, if, even if we wanted to. It would be pretty hopeless. Now that i thought about it, there's been a television show like that. The details were vague, but I could remember the general plot. A story about a normal school girl with a magical necklace and got caught in a fight with a dragon and was carried away to another world. She had all sorts of adventures and fell in love with a boy who had wings, and in the end she had to go back to her own world and uh, even though she never stopped loving him. What would it be like to keep loving someone you could never see again? Most people couldn't do it, and even if they could, it would only make them unhappy. How had that girl felt in the end? She must have been unhappy, right? I lingered absently in that last thought. What had been in her heart as she carried that love with, with her through her entire life? No, this was no good. I was feeling depressed again. I needed to cheer up! Turning these thoughts over my mind, I pushed open the door to the bath, and there stood a, per stood a person I remembered all too well. Is it Tsubaki? Oh no! 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 Fuck. This is a dream. Let this be a dream, please. <laughs> It's been a while, princess. Would you mind terribly if I asked you to accompany me? Huh? Look, he punched me in the pit of the stomach and the pain made my breath stop my, in my throat. Unable to stand, I doubled over. Using the last of my favorite consciousness, I called out to back his name. Spaggy. <laughs> Shall we be off then? He effortlessly picked up my limp body and melted away. 
What's going on here? Oh, Saki still hasn't come. Well, let's just relax and wait a while. But I was hoping to reward you for your last labor. This is rather rude of us. Sahanava! A serving maid rushed breathlessly into the room. What is it? Hurry up and bring us up. E emergency! This is a real emergency! What is this all of a sudden? What happened? The, the princess put us out to him on the watchtower! The wind sank by my ears as if it were moaning, and I heard the sound of the wind. When I heard the sound of the wind, I realized where I was for the first time. What's this? The man who had swung me over his shoulder slowly put his shoulder slowly put me down, setting me on the ridge of the roof so I would not lose my footing. If I moved even a little, I would slip and fall. We were, we were on the roof of the watchtower. Fuck! Are you awake now, princess? Why? Why did you take me here? Let go of me, please, let go of me! You shouldn't struggle like that. Or do you want me to let go of you? You'd lose your balance and fall head first. Your pretty face would be smashed open like a ripe melon if you fell from this height. Oh, well, that would be something to see. His cold, coldly glinting eyes looked down at me with amusement. I couldn't help but stare at his face so close to me. Hiding it to Ona, the man who had planned had, had, had to him his assassination. My assassination. I hear that you sent troops to Ket Ketahara Castle. Fools. As if it I sit it sit there quietly and wait wait to be captured. I don't know anything about it. Hmm, I'm sure it was Hannah that's doing. But the same thing either way. Please, stop this already. Even if you kill me now, things won't work out like you and what about it? Do you think I care whether I live or die at this point? You're planning to die. And if I'm going to die, it's my right as a great man to take someone with me. You're insane! Oh, princess, look at that magnificent sunset. All sun is setting too. Doesn't it look like it's beginning to us? No! No! Don't squirm around so pathetically. Shouldn't you at least try to meet your fate like a true princess? No! Let go of me! Let go! Like always, you're a disgraceful girl. But it doesn't matter. You'll gather quite an audience for us if you keep wriggling around like that. The more people to come with me, the merrier. What do you mean? I've hidden gunpowder in the watchtower. It should ignite to just a little bit, and then what a lovely place it will be. <laughs> I can just see them all running up trying to escape, around trying to escape. How could you? I told you, didn't I? This, this is the right privilege of any powerful man in his final moments. You were never a powerful man. And that is why this is so important. I'm going to die anyway. Princess, don't you think it's important how a person dies? Great men by mina uh, people manage to die in burning houses. And I will follow their example rather than, the, than being captured and be handed a force to commit suicide. I will go blazing out with this crumbling tower. You poor man. What? You're wrong. And you probably even and you probably even know that yourself. You're a very sad person. Shut up, mom. Please stop. It's not too late. I told you to shut up. Let yourself calm down a little bit and listen to what your heart has to say to you. Shut up. Do you want me to cut off your tongue right now? Get on your knees and beg me to stop. Cry. Scream. The hand that around my throat tightened suddenly. Breathe. Now your daughter Now, you daughter of a great lord, get down on your knees and beck to your vessel uh your vessel to let you lick. <laughs> Stop, that is disgraceful. Ha, you are the arm that had been locked around my throat slightly. <laughs> Tabaki! Tabaki! I screamed the name of the man I loved before my mind. Forgive me, Princess. I let my guard down. I never imagined that he had managed to sneak into the castle. Tabaki. You are. Oh, I see. You're one of the Princess's bodyguards. You caused me quite a bit of trouble, you know? Let go of the Princess. We already have people climbing the tower. There's no place for you to run. From the moment I began my rebellion, I was prepared for death. I will remove this parasite from my clan myself, and my death will, be, will live on in history. Oh, shit. What nonsense. And someday we will be there will be in Harumoto the second and Harumoto the third.
To Peggy, you seriously planning to die and he's going to take as many people with him as he can. Please, get everybody away from the watch away as quickly as you can. Shut up! Once more, so I'm tightening around my throat. <laughs> An old man really has to suffer to climb these stairs. Princess! So Hannah, get everybody away from the watch here. The princess is... That is what the princess ordered. But, drawing an agonized breath, I strained to speak. I order you to! Princess, I hear in a way. Your head turned and left. Hurry! All I wanted was for everybody else to be safe. How boring. Looks like it will just be you and me and the princess on this little journey. Take your hands off. And if I refuse... Hadamas was slowly sliding closer to me. You're going to cut through her to get to me. If you're still, I'm sure you'd do a splendid job of it, too. Tsubaki, don't worry about me. Please get away from here. Look, you made her cry. Princess. I... I love you, Tsubaki. Even now, I love you so much. I blurted it out without thinking. And um, that's why I want you to live. I want you to live long for a long, long time. <laughs> you heard her, said Blackie. Leave us. This woman and I will be together forever. You would only get in our way. Princess. I, too, have had feelings. Huh? But you are a princess and I am a wandering samurai. The stations of life are too different. I gave up it up as an impossible dream. But still. I could not get, still I could not get you out of my thoughts. Somehow, I fell in love with you. Sapaki! I don't care what happens to me anymore. A life without you would be meaningless. Hadamoto, oh no. I will trade my life for that of the princess. Now let it go. Sapaki, no! <laughs> Your life is already mine. And now I will let you die as you wish. Hadamoto slept out a small bag of his overcoat. What was he going to do? Sabaki must have known, because his eyes opened wide and he clapped a hand over his mouth. But the fine white powder scabbard opened for the bag and could more quickly than he did. You like ran out when you stood downwind. Now taste the flavor of this rare rest and drink. No. Oh. Phantom, the hill of the free demon. Sabaki! Sabaki! How, so how do you like this spell of mine? Is it working? What is this? Yeah! The first time I heard Tsubaki scream in agony, he howled as if, as if his voice was trying to escape his body and, and collapse on his knees. And all I could do was watch. Tsubaki! Tsubaki! Suffer, tremble, scream, and cry in vain. What's happening to him? See, this princess is the, a drug that causes you terrifying hallucinations. You coward! How could you? Unfortunately, I'm not much of a swordsman. This is my way of fighting. Ah! Uh, Hamato pushed me away from him without warning, and I scrambled definitely, desperately on the roof tile. I thought I was about to fall. You can watch from there, see how the stray dog dies. I'll release you from your nightmare soon. Prepare yourself, Spaggy. The blade of Hamato's sword appeared inch by inch from his ship. Catching the red light of the dying sun. <laughs> I'll make it all better. A triumphant sneer slid across his face as if he were already sure of his victory. I couldn't lose to him. I couldn't. I couldn't let him do this. Yeah. <laughs> Terror pulsed through me as I stumbled busily. Take that sword that you have. But that wasn't important right now. I was. It was nothing compared to my fear of losing his back. I needed to stand up and fight. This time I would protect him. He was somebody I could have met in reality, but had to he I could have never met in he reality. But had to him, he had guided me to him, and we ever faced, and we had faced death together. It hadn't been nothing but happiness. There was so many sad things, many painful things. But all the time, I had felt a deep, strong bond to him. I won't let you die. I swear. Hang on, Sabaki. I'm coming to save you. This is the end. No. Holy motherfuck, finally you did something, dance when distress. Thank you. I'm dizzy. I need to sleep. Uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.